So number nine uh, gives you something different, right? It gives you what we call an exponential equation. And exponential equations are multiplying patterns. And they work really similarly to a to an adding or subtracting pattern, right? So the equation for a exponential equation is always starts with y is equal to, and then you start with an a, right? This is the y value of the y-intercept. B, this is the factor. This is the number we're multiplying by, and then x is an exponent. Right, this is what we call exponential, right? So the reason that the reason that we have exponents is to describe how many times we multiply times the base number, okay? How many times are we gonna multiply by that factor? So in a linear equation, right, we would start at the y value of the y-intercept, it would be a plus or minus something, which would be the slope, but then that x value just is a regular x, right? And that makes sense because the x is just telling us how many times to do the addition or subtraction. For an exponential equation, the reason that this variable is an exponent is because an exponent tells us how many times to do a multiplication. And so the reason that we raise that to a power is so that <coughs> is so that it tells us how many times to multiply. Because if it was just a times bx, that would be telling that would that would tell us that we were adding a slope instead of multiplying it. Okay. One thing that I want to point out to you, if you don't know it, in order to make an exponent in Desmos. Shift six is the keyboard uh, shortcut, <coughs> or if you if you hit the little if you hit the little calculator button in your it, in the answer area, there's a button called A to the B power, and you can click that and that will make an exponent for you as well. But anyway, back to back to this question. So your question probably said uh, you want we want the equation. Um, <coughs> excuse me. That starts with or starts at, let's just say 0, 3, <coughs> and multiplies times 2 <coughs> every time x increases by 1. <coughs> Excuse me. So what would that look like on a graph? Well, here we have a graph. Um, this starts at 0, 3, right? And then every time the x goes over by 1, we're going to multiply times 2. <coughs> so we got a point. This is going to be 1, and then 3 times 2 is 6. The next point is going to be, so at 2, we're going to go over 1. We multiply times 2 again, and so this would be 2, 12, right? And so we're going to get this exponential graph that looks something like that. But it's set up exactly the same way, or very similar to a linear equation. So we got a y. We know that our x is our exponent. And so our first value is where we start. Our starting value here is 3. So 3, our factor, right, is times 2. So instead of adding time, adding plus 2, we're multiplying times 2. We can either put it in parentheses or we could write it another way. We could write it y equals 3 times 2 to the x power. And this is the shift 8 is a shortcut to a multiplication. Um, I think there's another way that we could do it, but I can't think of how. So those would be two ways that you could represent it, but really it's set up the same way, right? Where do you start? What's your factor? And then for an exponential equation where you're multiplying, the only only different thing is that the x is an exponent, right? Because exponents tell us how many times to multiply times the base. <coughs>